we had 1900 chickens and we lost 1200. I was buying the chickens in batches like 300. We did three sets of 300 and then we did two sets of 500. So I lost the whole thousand from the two 500 and I also lost some from the last 300 batch. When you realize that the the birds had died. Every day was going in and we were fine. The first time we find we found about 56. The next day was about 68. And then it dropped back down to say 36. But then from then on it just it was climbing from then. Initially, um with that sort of mortality rate, what did you suspect was the problem? Honestly, I did not suspect anything. Um obviously I had to rule out things. So we checked the dirt. We check the chickens that were next to us and the mortality rate in that group was great. We then went to the vet, we took one of the five of the dead chickens, we took them to the vet which that day and he told me it was the toxins in the feed. Since then did you reach out to the feed company? Yes, I reached out to the feed company and um, they told me to send in information. I sent in all the information that was asked. An employee was helping me along the way but no one else contacted me. Okay. Um, obviously, with this level and of they also sent the same employee to check the pen, and he didn't see anything wrong with the pen at that time. Okay. So, with this sort of investment, um, how, how did it make you feel? It made me feel the worst. <laughs> it was a big investment. The upfront cost was roughly about twenty-two thousand dollars. But you know, the, the ones that live, we did, we did make money off of the ones that live, but then we invested the money back into the pen. These are the same ones that died. So in total, we spent between thirty two to $35,000. Okay. Okay. Well, what would you like to recoup from this situation? Um, I would like some kind of compensation from somebody, but I'm just hoping that somebody reach out to me and we can go from there. So this would have been the first thing that those birds died on me. But I have I ever experienced this and they were as I said they were rotting from the inside out. So the day before we would see some birds with like a purplish blue stomach and then obviously by the next morning we go we would see them dead and start the cane already. So what gave you the initial courage you know to speak out about it? Life is hard. So imagine you lost all of that money and then you still have to children to feed. We I still have to eat, still have bills to pay. I want to continue with the chickens. Right now I have a hundred chickens. So is that I need something, I need something to keep me going. I can't just be a day.